in life, you know, when you're looking at school and doing all of that, all these strategizing and all these concepts and all these words and all these things, you don't need it. When you operate from effortless being, which is our true nature, it's just, it's instantaneous. It's, it's just, it just happens automatically. I love when you're operating from that intelligence. I love what you said. You don't need it. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's what's so funny. It is. <laughs> it is. So. And then you think, then you think when you go to school, you're thinking, oh, I got to study all these subjects and stuff because I have to get a good job and I, I got to make all this money and I got to have a family. I got to do all these things because, because, you know, the world will tell you that's what's going to make you happy. That's yes. what they tell you. Yes. They and found we, the opposite. And we did. So we did part of that. <laughs> yeah, we all did. I mean, I'm, I'm still raising a family myself, you know? Yeah. And I know that you, you and you're going to be talking about, you know, you were married and you had, you had a child as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. You did all that. Yes. Yeah, so. It and was, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, it's just, yeah, of course it's just what's happening. It's part of life. Yeah. Life just comes about and you go with it. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, and it's beautiful. It's experiencing fully, really. You know, we experienced in the dream, we experienced all of that fully. And then, and now we've come to this place where we can still be here and, and know that who we truly are. I mean, that's a miracle. That is. Yeah, that, it reminds me of what Jesus said. When, remember when he said, like, we're, we're in the world, but we're no part of the world. It's kind of yeah. like, we're here in the world, but we're not really part of it, so to speak. I don't know if that makes any sense. Yes. It's kind of how I feel. Yes, yes. And yet there are other times where um, I feel like I'm part of nature and all of that but there's also this other world that is going on which i don't relate to i can see it there i don't have any judgment of it but it's it's yeah. as if i'm seeing all these different realities happening at once and i can choose to be wherever i want in any in any moment absolutely so you know i can go in and yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like experiencing experiencing oneness or non-duality i'm sure you've probably heard that term yes. a lot of people talk about non-duality and, and yes. oneness and experiencing everything as one yes seeing everything as one being connected with no separation mm -hmm. it's just whole and complete yes wonderful how do you feel about being uh interacting in the world now I find it just, it's just whatever, you know, what's, I, I take a stance, like it's just whatever's happening naturally and effortlessly. It's like, it's like before I used to like plan things, like have goals, have schedules. Now I just kind of operate from spontaneous, you know, it's just like whatever's spontaneously arising and just kind of follow my intuition, you know, that, that gut feeling that yeah. you just with the flow of life, you just have life live through you. And I got to just follow that flow. So it's, it's whatever's just happening at the moment. I just fully accept it. Like there's no resistance. It's like whatever's arising, arises and I welcome it. I welcome everything. There's no resistance to it. Follow my intuition and just, I don't judge it either. Like the mind might try to come in and say, and comment and say, oh, I don't like what's happening at this moment. Or it might say things like that, but it's kind of like your, your intuition, you see right through it. It's just like, there's no judgment. It's just this, it's neutral. You know, what we are is this neutral space. There's no judgments there. There's no commenting about it. It's just all happening effortlessly. So I just kind of just go with the flow of life. And I find that mm. everything just flows naturally. And it's the way it's really always been. Everything's always been that way. And you just kind of have that realization. It's, it's always been just this. Yes. And it's fine. It's fine the way it is. Whatever is happening, it's fine. It's so much easier. There was so much um, 
energy going into that movie that it's like, oh. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, now it's just like you can breathe. You, can breathe. <laughs> you just relax now. Yes, you can, <laughs> you can relax. You can breathe. It's like I heard. Um, but I think I think when other people see that though, whenever people see you just like calm and relaxed, I think it's even David was saying in his interview with you, it kind of infuriates them. Like you're not even doing anything. You're just naturally just That's calm right. and <laughs> you know everything's okay. But that other people it kind of challenges their way of life you know they're yeah. like oh you got to do this you got to do that or you have to get upset about this and that and you you don't it's everything's fine everything's okay there's an okay this year yeah that's it's all effortlessly being taken care of yeah yeah that's what i meant by you know i challenged people by simply being myself and it was it was rather funny it was to make me laugh at at one point because it's like hang on a minute i'm invisible but and yet i challenge <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make any sense at all but oh it's just lovely it's just so funny you know, i can just i don't know i'm not laughing at them I had to say this. No, no. Laughing at Everybody's you. where they should be. Everybody's where they should be. Exactly. Everything's fine. Yeah, yes, exactly. So it's 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 quite a um an awesome, awesome time. Anything else you'd like to say? I I really Yeah, like after, after your self-realization, I was curious, like now that you realize your true self, how are you um integrating that into the world? Are you still um you still have a career like what do you do for jobs like how are you are you just letting it all just flow or how has your life changed like as far as um you know from the world's aspect the everyday life well i went back into the workforce for a short time because everything fell apart for me and uh, i needed to have some money so but i just i couldn't be there i i really couldn't vibrationally it was so different and by 2019, um, I had to, I was walking out the door one day and this big gust of wind blew me back in and the door slammed behind me and I just sat down on the couch. <laughs> the words I heard were, settle down, things are about to change. So I wow. just went with it. I just went with it and I... By that stage, I had um, sold a, a block of land that I had and that I was struggling actually to build this uh, um, studio, art studio on it. And so it was just causing so much. Mm -hmm. And um, so I stopped all of that, sold that and settled back down. And from then, it's taken me a few years to actually, well, a couple of years to actually be in that neutral space where everything, it's like the tide went out and I settled down and nothing was coming in. <laughs> so I had no income coming in, but um, I trusted, I've trusted my Art went away, everything went away. I had no interest in painting, nothing. So the identity, every bit of identity completely got dissolved. So whatever, yes. I, whatever I had interest in before just completely dissolved away. And it's only now that I'm recognizing that I can be anything I choose from this perspective, yes. from zero point, no self, zero point, effortless being. Zero point. I can be anything I choose in the moment. So today I might, I'm doing an interview, which I love. I put it on there. Yesterday I spoke to this wonderful young man in Sydney who um, is having trouble integrating so I love that's what I and I thought that's what I love to do I love to inter interact with others and 
I love to help people to who have realized their true nature to help them with the integration aspect because what, I, what would you say is the biggest challenge that you're seeing the people you're talking to with integration what are you seeing what are the challenges they're having the challenges they're having is of still being in the world but knowing that they're not you know then that they're different that something has shifted and changed so they're having a lot of and i went through that I went through that myself and as we all have we all go through that so um that's the thing that i love to help people with and it's like bringing them back you can be in the world but you always know who you really are and if it gets too challenging hey even ascended masters <laughs> have got angry every now and again and you have <laughs> every right to so <laughs> so you know? true yeah it's beautiful the way you just uh, express that the challenges people are having with integration being of the world but no part of it and like you said it's just all it's almost like the like we're operating from different bodies like you have the body of wisdom the yeah. body of intuition and all those things when you realize your true nature they kind of they're just they're always operating anyway we're just realizing it we're we're allowing it just to take over and run things. And it just, it's just all happening automatically. It's like mm -hmm. nothing we're doing to integrate after self-realization. It's all just happening from intelligence itself that's running everything. Yes. So it's, it's just kind of a natural thing that I notice that life just takes care of life and, and, and it just happens yes. without any effort. It just effortlessly comes along and everything just works right out without us doing anything. It's kind of like we're here, yeah, but yeah. we're not here, you know? <laughs> yes, exactly. And so I find that um, the people that are coming to me now are the ones who are having a challenge with that discrepancy sort of thing. You know, it's like you're in the middle. You got one foot in that world and one foot in the new. Yeah. And um, it's a case of balancing it, but um, it's it's fast changing. You know, the world is yes. so so uh, rapidly that I think the more of us that are here holding this space of truth, it shifts others, and so. I think also the 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 newly awakened there is um the chap I spoke to yesterday he was uh rightly he was talking about the um spiritual ego coming in and I said oh yes we've all had that one as well so don't think it's, it's anything that you have to push away or whatever you just recognize it recognize it don't judge it and nope, don't judge it. Just allow it. Judge it. No judge judgments. No just, judgments. Just be, just be the open space, the wide open space, yeah. the yeah. wide open, neutral, awake space. Yes. That's our true nature. Infinite yeah. consciousness, infinite being, effortless being. I always say this, like I always tell people, can you stop being now? Try it. Try to stop being right now. Yeah. You can't. You can't because <laughs> that's what you are. Or you're, you're conscious, you're beingness itself, and you're not even doing it. It's all happening effortlessly. This big, wide open space, awake yeah. space is our true nature. We're so much more than just this body. We, we're everything. Yeah. It's beautiful when you realize that. It's liberating too, because then you don't fear the death of the body. You don't fear the sickness. Yes. You know, you don't feel, you don't have the, the fear anymore. It's kind of like, it's just this, you know, and it's, it's okay. No matter what's, what's happening, you have that, that inner peace. Yeah. And there's nothing like it in the world. It's like billion dollars couldn't, couldn't buy that, that feeling. Yes. Or that, that knowingness, I should say. And even the words, I mean, I'm pointing to all these things, but it's almost like it's, it's pointing to it. I, the words can't even describe it. It's just, you just yeah. know it for yourself. Yeah. 
and that's why I love. That's why I love. It's liberating. Art. It's freedom. It's freedom. It's freedom. It is freedom. It is true freedom. Really, it's true freedom. Um, that's why I love art because words can't describe it, and yet there's certain paintings that really can draw you in and you can't name it you can't label it you know um and it doesn't necessarily have to be abstract you know and and just nothing paintings no context paintings um it can be like david had um a david hockney painting of um um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was stillness. He saw the stillness in that, you know, and it, and it's so stillness. It, yes, it kind so of stills the mind. It's still, yeah, it's stillness. It's like you look at it and you see the peacefulness and the stillness in it, and, yeah. and that resonates with the stillness within. So it's like I can go and sit on a park bench. If I wish in the sun today, sit on a park bench and the resonance will either bring someone to me that is, you know, recognizes that or it'll push them away or they'll, you know, get up and leave. And, you know, um, so I've experienced that as well. A lot of people actually are drawn to it. They don't know why but they're drawn to the energy. Yes, the, especially the pure positive energy. People are drawn to that because our true nature is joy. Our true, true nature is love, unconditional yeah. love. That's our true nature. So when people see that, they automatically resonate with it because that, that's really who they truly are. They're just, some people just aren't aware of it yet. The time hasn't come or not that there is any time, but it just hasn't awaken to that or realize it or whatever term you want to use yes. that's all it is but it's it's already here it's for all, everyone yeah and it's okay you know no matter where you at where you're at on the journey it's that's fine because right. you're exactly okay anyway you're okay anyway that's exactly right that's what i always tell people it doesn't matter where you are this is not a competition this is not a race no you will get there, you will get there you know we're it, all the same anyway we're all yeah we're all consciousness we're all awake we're all being this we're all effortless in being right now yeah so some so, realize that some don't yeah that's all yes <laughs> how are your children affected by it? are they so, yeah they um well they see like you know we're changing dad in the sense that you know a more like i would say just like open joyful peaceful like you know, don't let things bother you kind of thing. You know what I mean? They, you know, in the past, maybe you don't you let things bother you as much. Now it's more of a openness and okayness, a reassuringness, mm. you know, it's so much better way to raise kids that way. Oh, yes. So they could see it. But yeah, it's so much better to be that way. Yeah. And whatever happens with the kids happens anyway. I mean, you know, it's just, it's all being.